Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. So today we've got something that I'm pretty excited about, which is this Bad Lion three ton off-road jack. So let's get it out of the box and check it out. Okay, so we've got a bunch of styrofoam. Looks like some wheels. And here's the jack. So this is what's in the box. We've got the jack, we've got the wheels, and we've got the little extension. Let's get this out of the box and get the wheels on it. Here are the handles. Done with the box. Somewhere. There they are. And it does roll pretty easy with those front wheels. Okay, and it takes a 19 millimeter socket to tighten up the wheels. This is the extension so that we can lift our higher clearance vehicles and it stores right here behind the jack body. Okay, here's the Allen wrench to attach the post to the lifting saddle. Here is the saddle so that we can raise a higher vehicle and then the Allen wrench to attach that to the plate is stored right here in the side. So that's pretty slick, I think. The Allen wrench to attach your saddle goes in right here and you have to push this in. Let's see if I can zoom this in. To put your Allen wrench back, you have to push in the holder and then it simply slides in when you release it the spring tension keeps it there well, i think that's pretty slick now then the holder to hold the boot goes right here and then it attaches with two screws which i've got here in an allen wrench and mine didn't have that allen wrench in but it did have the 19 millimeter wrench to tighten the wheels and honestly i just assume they saved your money on putting that in there <laughs> so i'm going to use my own allen wrench as well on the saddle extension if you're not uh if you don't need that or you've got a lower like a little car or something a regular vehicle you're going to use you can remove the saddle extension and when you do that it stores right here in the jack body itself which is pretty slick i think you just tighten up this knob on the side and then it has this spring catch oops one-handed it's always a trick so and then the spring catch locks down and holds it securely it's pretty cool i saw these when they introduced them at the sema show and then of course the harbor freight website and i was pretty excited about it i've wanted a, one of these off-road jacks for a while uh, that I've seen in other videos and honestly I wasn't going to pay that much for one this one on sale on the inside track club with the 20% off discount I got it's supposed to be $2.99 and I got it for right at two, $2.40 so not bad not bad at all this is an important step if you get ready to use your jack and it doesn't go up and down there's a plastic shipping piece right there that you've got to take out Once the lifting block is removed, the jack now works. This lock locks the handle in position, so you have to raise it to lift. And then, like every jack, turn it the other way and it lowers. The handle 
is pretty sweet. I think it's aluminum and well padded. And then instead of just a small bolt going through it, like all my other jacks have, this one has a push button, a little tension push button. And you slide that in. and it locks in. So a nice long handle. Fully raised, but without the saddle extension, it goes up to about 21 and a half, it looks like to me. And then let's let it down and see how tall it is to get under something. Seems to work really smooth. So the height, it looks like six and a quarter. Yeah, I can't get down there. So pretty sure about six and a quarter is what it would go under, which is also about the height of the wheel. So if you, the front wheels will slide under it, so will the lifting saddle. We'll take our saddle extension out and see what our numbers are there. So pushing the handle, the lock for the Allen wrench in, pull our, out our Allen wrench. Let's go ahead and tighten this up. Got our saddle extension bolted in place. Now then we'll just go with the maximum height on this, which is the third hole. Okay, so with the saddle extension in place, we can lift between 14 inches. I'll put my Allen wrench back in its storage position. Okay, so we're at 14 inches. Raise all the way up and see where we're at. One, two, three. Okay, so it's seven pumps to get it all the way up. With it all the way up, we can lift to 29 and a quarter inches with the saddle extension all the way up. So, pretty impressive. Let it down. And then we'll go take it off road. It rolls across gravel pretty nicely. Uh, also, if you've got a concrete floor but it's just got crap on it, it'll roll across that. What's really nice is I can drag my other jack put through gravel. What I can't do is push it to get it up under the car. So here's my old floor jack and the reason I wanted the off-road one. When I come out here, you can see how it plows gravel. And I can pull this through the gravel, that's not a problem. The problem comes in when it's time to push it under the vehicle. You cannot push this thing at all. You have to end up grabbing a hold of the front of it and almost throwing it under the car. So the big wheels on the off-road jack has been what I've been looking for. It's where this off-road jack really shines. You can slide it, roll it on uneven surfaces very easily. And then I've had to jack these trailers up more times than I'd never wanted to, but it's always a pain because with my regular floor jack or a bottle jack, I've got to find a bunch of cribbing. With the saddle extension on this one, it goes right up. And that's plenty high enough to change either one of those tires. And when we're done working, we can let it down. Gotta like it. Saddle extension goes, it has to be bolted in and to release the Allen wrench or the Allen wrench storage is right here in the side and it's spring loaded if you can see that. So push in the button, pull out the Allen wrench 
And now you can take the wrenches out. If you remove the saddle piece, it's a little easier to turn the wrench. And you don't take the bolts all the way out, just enough to unthread them from that bottom piece. Another half turn here. Okay, so then the bolts stay captured so you don't lose them. And that's pretty slick. Then to put the saddle away, I just collapse it all the way, put the pin back through. Then it stores right here with this little clip and this knurled knob here. So that screws right into the center. The bolts can line up right there to protect them. Tighten down the knurled knob and then put the clip on. So that's pretty sweet. And then your Allen wrench stores back by pushing in the spring-loaded catch and everything's contained inside the jack itself. Pretty nice. You've got a lifting handle here and then handles on either side to be able to maneuver this. This part here is a lock. If you put that down, you can... Now the, the jack is locked. You can take the handle out and you can put it in the back of your truck or behind your seat or wherever you need to do. Because this is going to stay in this garage and outside around the garage, I'm just going to leave everything together. And leave the lock disengaged. So the Badland Jack from Harbor Freight, uh, I've been looking for this for quite a while. As heavy as the box was, I almost thought maybe this was steel. This is aluminum. There are several steel parts though. It's just this much jack is just going to weigh quite a bit. This off-road jack weighs just under 77 pounds, so it's kind of a beast, but it will lift three tons is what it's rated at. Uh, what I like about it is with the big wheels, I can slide over gravel and through gravel, also in my barn, which is a nice smooth concrete floor, but occasionally it has stuff on it, mud clods or rocks from stuff coming in. And this jack will go over and under that stuff. So again, big wheels, lifting handles. It's got the saddle extension right here with it and the Allen wrench also. And then the two-piece handle, which goes together with a spring notch instead of just a bolt going through it like everything else I've got hands. So my final thoughts on this jack, uh, it was released at the SEMA show. There was quite a buzz about it on the Harbor Freight websites. And they were actually pretty hard to find around here. This one was one of only two stores in stock in Indiana that I found it at. And we went down and got it. It was on, it was the regular price was $2.99. We had a 20% off sale with the inside track. So we basically paid just that uh, 240 bucks for it. And I think it's well worth it. So your miles may vary. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you liked it. And hope you have good luck with your jack if you buy one. This is the Badland Off-Road Jack. Thanks for watching.